Hi there, this is once again Jacob John and I know that there is a result for your anticipation. Jiju sir is there with me today. Are you in a good mood? Of course I am. Alright, he's well equipped. It seems like this short video is also going to be a fun and frolic ride. Stay tuned with us. Alright guys, so last video was totally helpful for you like how to find out synonyms, what all you can say when you get a particular word, how you can brainstorm and how you can bring your score level from this standard to this standard, particularly in IELTS writing as well as in speaking. I'm not going to spare him today. I'm going to give him another set of words. So, I have actually done my research, uh, particularly from your side, the student side, right? Because they are the ones who are going to write the examination. So, I'm going to give him a word today, which is very common. You know, I, I'm all, I'm, you know, assorting all sorts of common words. All right, fine. It's tourism. I'm not taking too much of a time. Tourism? You're okay with it? Yeah, very, very okay with that. Wow. <laughs> tourism is one of the words which has been commonly, frequently and ever, ever changing. It's been coming over there in both in speaking and in writing. When tourism comes to your mind, do not be scared. It's a simple word. It's simple. It's simple as a straight line. So when tourism comes to your mind, you can use several uh, external factors or several external things which can be which you can build upon that one. The first one is inbound tourism. Next one is outbound tourism. Then comes medical tourism. Then come eco tourism. Come again once again. First one is in outbound tourism. Second one is inbound. Third one is medical tourism, and the fourth one is eco tourism. Outbound, the word itself is pregnant with meaning because it means international, out of the out of the country. We have several trips from India mm -hmm. which moves in uh, Friday night and we can be back on Monday morning. I Just two love days. Bon voyage. <laughs> Just two days is enough for that one. That's known as outbound. We have trips to Sri Lanka, we have uh, trips to Singapore, Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Those all comes under this category. Wow. Then comes inbound. Inbound means the opposite of outbound, national. Inside the country, we have several tourist packages. We can we can explore internationally. Then comes medical tourism. Kerala is famous for medical tourism. Ayurvedic spa, Ayurvedic treatment. These all comes under that one. That's an income generation for the common people and revenue for the government. Then comes ecotourism. Kerala is famous for ecotourism. We are using the existing nature for the promotion of tourism. That's known as ecotourism. Out of the 14 districts of Kerala, we have plenty. Kerala is blessed with that one. So, that's fine. Wow, right? Ecotourism. God's own country is so famous for ecotourism. You can get all sorts of craft work and everything. First of all, it's like in a serene atmosphere. You can just be getting lost, right? It's like land of the lost when you see the tourism mm. in Kerala. Of course. When he just said that, it just popped into my mind. All right, guys. No, you're not done with it. Tourism. He spoke about tourism. So, now let me just say, why don't I add industry along with tourism? I think yeah. that'll be a little more roller coaster ride for you. No, he's okay with it. So the next word that I'm gonna give him is tourism industry. Yeah, well, tourism industry. That's the biggest job provider for the people ac across the globe. We, uh, when we speak about tourism industry, directly one word comes to your mind. That would be airports. What is the significance of airports in tourism industry? Nowadays, people do not have a single time to spare. So flying it have a lesser time, lesser amount of time to uh, approach to a particular distance. So airport comes with that category. Then the second one is hotels. When hotels comes to your mind, there should be one word that should directly drop into your mind. That's accommodation. We have all type of accommodation, wow. right from budget hotels, dormitories, up to three star and up to seven star deluxe hotels. You know, like suite also, right? Yeah, of course oh, we have. Really we great. have then uh, resorts, homestay, mm -hmm. trekking houses, mm -hmm. camp houses. These are the area which the government need to focus and to flourish. Yes. So then comes tourist destination. All the destination becomes famous because of tourism. Uh, I hope that uh, one thing comes to your mind directly right now is would be Taj Mahal. So wow. where it is? It's of in Agra. Of course, it's in Agra. Agra. So the 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 place become familiar because of tourism. Howrah Bridge directly here into West Bengal. Exactly. Okay. These are the things. Then tourist guides. So, if the common people have a little knowledge about the particular place and they can impart it to the foreigners, they can earn their living. So, these are the things, airports, hotels, tourist destination and guides. That's all from my part. He's done.
it was so nice for me to listen to what he was yabra 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 blabbering but guys don't take it in that sense it's totally helpful for you i know that if you have had a look in the particular video the last video that we have done and if that's helpful for you this video is extremely going to be more helpful for you stay tuned always surf the youtube for such videos particularly you know synonyms as well as brainstorming videos when you get a word please like and comment down in the section which is provided so that we can provide more ideas for you and also if you have any doubts or brainstorming ideas or words you want more clarification with please write in the comment section till then stay safe take care bye bye